Crowley, right? So, the Hardy Boys finally found me. Took you long enough. Do you have any idea how much this rug costs? This is it, right? This is what it's all about. What the hell is this? Do you know how deep I could have buried this thing? There's no reason you or anyone should know this even exists at all. Except that I told you. You told us. Rumors. Innuendo. Sent out on the grapevine. Why? Why tell us anything? I want you to take this thing to Lucifer and empty it into his face. Mm -hmm. Okay, and why exactly would you want the devil dead? It's called survival. Crowley? You're him? King of Hell? You must be Mother Winchester. A pleasure. I've heard so much. Touch me and I'll kill you. Ramiel, Prince of Hell. Ramiel, Prince of Hell. It's catchy, it rhymes. And he's going to kill each and every one of you. No. The princes are all dead. That's what we told people, to stop them looking. But in reality, not so much. What, what the hell is a Prince of Hell? The oldest of the old demons, the first generation after Lilith. Lucifer turned them himself before the oceans drank Atlantis. They were trained to be generals to lead demonic armies in the war against heaven. Like Azazel. They even have his eyes. Who are you? And what do you want? The name's Crowley. King of the Crossroads. I've been sent by hell. And what? Don't they teach you how to knock in hell? For that I apologize. But I do come bearing gifts. The first is from all demon kind. We heard that you collect weapons. The more ancient and arcane, the better. So may I present the Lance of Michael, the Archangel. Impressive. This beauty. She kills the bad ones fast and the good ones slow and painful. Ironic, seeing as it was made by an angel. There's only one angel Michael wanted to kill, and he wanted that son of a to suffer. Ah, the magic. It's all in the rune work. The craftsmanship. Oh. King of the Crossroads, I've heard the speech. No. King of Hell. You gonna get that or what? Where's he? Bobby Sayer, how long have we been neighbors? Six months. Well, don't you think it's time you welcomed me to the neighborhood? My famous ginger peach cobbler. Take a whiff, seriously, I'm a genius. Some stupid horror flicks. Guilty pleasure. I love scary movies. Hey, have you seen Drag Me to Hell? I'm trying to avoid it. But it's fantastic. 
Don't we both know how this game ends? Really, Bobby? You gotta know when to fold him. Word on the street is that ever since Lucifer went to the pokey, you're the big kahuna downstairs. See you've been reading the trades. Trouble in paradise. Mate, you have no idea. I thought, when I got the corner off this, I thought it was all gonna be rainbows and two-headed puppies. But if I'm being honest, it's been hell. Thought that was the point. You know what the problem with demons is? They're demons? Exactly. Evil, lying prats, the whole lot of them. And stupid. And try to show them a, a new way, a better way. And what do you get? Bugger all! You know, there's days that I think Lucifer's whole spike anything with black eyes plan was not bad. Hm. Feels good to get that off my chest. We should make this a thing. Do I look like Dr. Phil to you? A little. The second gift is from myself, personally. Something I thought you might like. get this. It's amazing what some people just leave laying about. Consider it your coronation present. Pardon? Brings me to your final gift. The throne of hell. <laughs> you want me to be king? Well, with Lilith and Azazel dead and Lucifer back in his box, we need a ruler. You are next in line, Ramiel, Prince of Hell. It's just a name. Doesn't mean anything. Still, the crown is yours if you want it. I don't. You take it. I... Pardon? You seem ambitious enough, conniving enough, slimy enough. So take it. Go for the glory, kid. I mean, one dares to dream, but what about the others? You know, the only prince. Azazel was a fanatic, a true believer in Lucifer's master plan. But the rest of us, well, the truth is, we stopped caring a long time ago. Asmodeus has his hobbies, Dagon has her toys. We're happy where we are. So if you want the crown, it's yours. Otherwise, oh, hell yeah. I'll take it. I mean, I graciously accept. Swell, but there is one thing. Nothing comes without a price. Well, this should be easy enough. Leave us alone. Make sure everyone else does the same. If anyone, anything, bothers a prince of hell, it's gonna be on your head, Crowley. And you don't wanna know what happens when you piss us off. I humbly accept your terms. Anywho, obviously not here for a social call. So on with it. I want that. Uh, save you the recap. In fact, I'll do the shorthand for you. I want my soul back, Egypt. Afraid not. But I'm surly and I got a beard, Gilly. Blah, blah, blah. Homespun, corn pone insult. Witty retort from yours truly. The bottom line is, you get bupkis. Are we done? Just getting started. It's been so long. I love you so. 
Sorry. Yourself and my boy, that's it, right? I gotta give you credit for thinking outside the box on that one, but problem is, I loathe the little bastard. If you wanna torture him, just let me pull up a chair and I'll watch. Hell, burn his bones, send him down to me, we can have a family reunion, that's right, son? You picked the wrong bargaining chip this time, my friend. He ain't a chip. I was just using him to dig up dirt on you. And since Gavin hates you maybe even more than you hate him, he was more than happy to squawk. What did you tell him, son? Everything. I know it all now. Fergus. Now you may be king of the dirt bags here, but in life, you were nothing but a two-bit tailor who sold his soul. It's not our kind of weird. Look, whatever this thing is going to be, it's going to be big and bad. You rang. Hello, boys. Did you do it? Did you let Lucifer out? I didn't let. Don't! Moose, a little help here. D Dean, wait. Seriously? Seriously? Well, just don't kill him. He worked the cage spell with Rowena. Maybe he can help us. And what if he can't? Well, then we kill him. Cage spell? Thought you had mother for that. Rowena's dead. Really? Yeah, really. Lucifer. Funny. I always thought I'd be the one to kill her. Carly, why did you do it? Save Lucifer? What did you want? I wanted to win. I perverted Mother's spell. Put Lucifer in a vessel of my own making because I wanted to win. You have any idea how many people have made a play for my throne over the years? Lucifer, Abaddon, blah, 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 blah. Too damn many. I thought if I could put the devil on a leash, my own personal nuke, no one would ever dare challenge me again. Yeah, that worked out great. All ended with me narrowly escaping death by hiding in a rat. Wait, in an actual rat? Wasn't too bad, really. Gave me time to think. Yeah, I've been focused for so long on keeping my job. Never realized. I hate it. All those whining demons, the endless moan of damned souls, the paperwork. I mean, who wants that? You. Once, maybe. So, why are you here? Well, whenever there's a world-ending crisis at hand, I know where to place my bets. It's on you. You big, beautiful, lumbering piles of flannel. So if you'll forgive my transgression, I'll make it worth your while. Which means? After we put Lucifer back in his cage, together, I'll seal the gates of hell. You'll never see another demon again, apart from, of course, yours truly. You would do that? Why not? They stab me in the back, I'll happily stab them in the front, the sides, and right up the little black-eyed ass. So, we have a deal? You humiliated me. I... I hate you. Deeply. Truly. And I'm going to enjoy wiping that smug, self-satisfied look off your face. Personally. You mean... this one? Come on, Crowley. You know whatever you try, you're going to lose.
Even when I lose, I win. Bye, boys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Wayward Winchester for more awesome supernatural content. Till next time, as always, no chick flick contents.